I'm Marvin Slepian from the University of Arizona. Platelets are vital blood elements that are important in the response to injury and growth and repair. They prevent bleeding. On the other hand, in certain disease states, platelets can become activated and can actually lead to blood clot formation. In the field that we're involved in, heart failure and the use of mechanical circulatory support devices such as this, a ventricular assist device that is plugged into the heart that's failing to enhance blood flow and increase pump output. When platelets move through these devices, they unfortunately are subjected to very high, what we call shear forces. They're forced to flow at extremely high flow rates, high RPM rates, 9,000 to 12,000 RPM, and they may become activated by mechanical means. We use drugs today, such as antiplatelet agents like aspirin, dipyridamol, and other drugs to prevent platelet activation for patients that have other types of biochemical activation, such as in coronary artery disease. Recently in our lab, we found that many of these agents really do not prevent platelet activation when subjected to high shear. We also found that if we can take a platelet and make it a little bit less stiff that when it's subjected to shear it does not activate. If you think about it, if you've got a physical object and you subject it to a physical force, if it's fairly rigid it will be coupled to that force and may become more damaged. On the other hand, if we take that object and essentially rubberize it, making it more elastomeric, it can deform more when subjected to a physical force like a shear force. So with that finding, we needed a method to be able to quantitatively measure the stiffness of platelets. Now interestingly, platelets, if you subject them to any type of force, physically will activate. There are methods in cell biology to measure cell stiffness, such as deforming cells on a surface, using atomic force microscopy to sort of scrape over the surface and measure the intrinsic stiffness. But if you were to do that to a platelet, by virtue of its sensitivity and its inability to repair, it would automatically activate. We developed a methodology in our lab Dr. Leung, who was a postdoc in the lab uh, working with us, where we used electrical fields to essentially trap platelets using a technique called dielectrophoresis, where you could polarize otherwise nonpolar objects and trap them in a field. And then by oscillating or varying the voltage, be able to physically deform the platelet. And of course, the degree of deformation would be related to the intrinsic stiffness of the cell. What we have put together is an interesting video. First we demonstrate the actual schematic of the process of the technique. And then secondly we show an interesting slide uh, with actual platelets that have been subjected to various chemical agents. And there you will see that we have extremely stiff platelets that have been fixed with a fixative. They hardly deform. And then we have manipulated the microtubule structure within the platelet, either increasing the polymerization of the microtubules or effectively depolymerizing the microtubules. And you will see platelets with varying degree of deformation when subjected to the electrical field. We feel that this technique may be very valuable in measuring stiffness of circulating cells. And in pilot data, we've already found that there are differences under certain disease states, under certain electrolyte imbalances, and also with age and with other types of diseases. So thank you for your attention, and please watch our video.